Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Garetofu here bringing you another Minecraft train tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going ahead and doing the Pioneer Zephyr. Now, the Pioneer Zephyr was a diesel power rail railroad train that was basically uh, made by Bud Company in 1934 for the Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy Railroad known as CB&Q. Uh, the train featured excessive use of stainless steel and was originally named the Zephyr and was meant as a promotional tool to advertise passenger rail service in the United States. On May 26, 1934, it set a speed record for travel between Denver, Colorado and uh, Chicago, Illinois. And a uh, very cool train, a uh, very fast uh, train for its time and a very nice uh, sleek looking one as well. Um, just overall, a pretty cool looking train and, uh, you know, hopefully you guys do enjoy the build. Now, this uh, build was, requ was requested as a birthday request and the request came from Trench Fighter 8. Um, some of you guys may know him as one of my mods in my streams and uh, also, you know, in my Discord and stuff like that. So, he requested this train and it's his birthday today. So, happy 19th birthday, man, and uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, this beautiful train. So, um, that's pretty much that. And uh, let's go ahead and take a quick little overview of the train to kind of take a look and see what we have going on here in the features and stuff. Um, the train itself is very sleek. There's uh, very little in terms of detail. Um, it's just a very nice, sleek, streamlined uh, type train. Um, you can see pretty much the front up here was pretty much the most detailed part of the whole thing. Uh, it was very diff very difficult and very tricky for me to get the shape of it right, um, considering that the windows kind of were a little bit smaller in the, in the middle, and then they kind of uh, grew in size as they kind of uh, went out to the sides. It's not exactly perfect, but it uh, kind of works for what I was trying to go for. Um, you got your lights up here, all that stuff, um, the front. Uh, one of the cool things with the Zephyr is it has like this um, front part that kind of comes down to the point here, and it's pretty much just barely above the rails. Um, and uh, not exactly sure what the intent purpose was for it, but I mean it's there So I got to of course add that in uh, on the top here. You got a bunch of detail I believe these is probably the exhaust and just other stuff on here. I'm not 100% sure of again What it is? I'm I'm not a big train expert by all means so um, I'm not sure exactly what that is up there, but I, if I had to take a guess it would probably be exhaust This is the whole engine car as you guys can see right here. Um, so it has like these uh Kind of vents on the side here when I was kind of looking at pictures and stuff uh, they were actually kind of like vent looking um, stuff they weren't actually windows so I went ahead and used iron bars in there and of course you guys can put an interior into the engine if you guys choose to there won't be any interior in this tutorial uh, and then the, the interesting thing about this train is it has these uh, different uh, wheels here so technically the uh, locomotive doesn't even have a back set of uh, uh, wheels that run on the tracks uh, these tracks are actually technically connected to this second car right here, and then the second car doesn't have any wheels in the back here, and then this third car here has uh, the wheels in the front here. So it's kind of a weird configuration, honestly, if you ask me, uh, but I mean, that's how it how it is. It's kind of weird, and I think a lot of trains actually nowadays uh, use that, especially passenger trains. So it's uh, pretty interesting, pretty cool. And of course, you have the uh, the joints right here. This is where the, uh, the walkway would be in between the cars. Um, this car right here, I'm not exactly sure what it is. It might be for um, other things having to do with the engine, the locomotive, because it's not really a passenger car um, necessarily because it does have the windows and stuff. So I'm not exactly sure what the intended purpose of that car is, but I mean, it does have it. So we have it added on. Uh, you have your first passenger car right here. Now, this is your basic design here for a passenger car if you guys want to put one in. So if you guys want to make this train longer, of course, you're just going to pretty much be taking this design and copying it all the way down. And then coming toward the back here, of course, we have the caboose. Uh, which has a nice rounded off back section here and of course your back tail light and um, everything like that but overall pioneer that's pretty much the uh, pioneer zephyr it's a pretty cool uh, nice uh, train uh looks really looks really cool it's a very nice simplistic train uh but definitely uh, will look cool whenever you guys are whatever you guys are putting this in uh definitely it's gonna look cool so anyways guys that's pretty much it for an overview of this build and with that we can go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our locomotive uh doing the uh the uh, first uh First layer. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to the locomotive. All right, guys. So going ahead and moving on to our first layer. Now, our first layer here, we're going to be going ahead and building. Uh, basically, I built half off camera. I'm going to build the other half on camera. Whatever we do over here on the left side of the, of the rails here, you're going to go ahead and do over to the right side. So it's just going to speed up the tutorial a little bit. And uh, you know, again, just half off camera, half on. Whatever we do to one side, you're just going to do to the other. So as you can see here, real quick, I want to point out that my tracks are have a total of three uh, spaces in between the actual rails themselves. Uh, now this is a design that I use for my tracks because I do my trains two to one So if you guys are uh, building this make sure you guys have the proper tracks It's very important that you guys do and that's basically a general idea of what they look like But once you guys have that all squared away you guys are good to go ahead and continue 
So uh, in the very front here, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off placing out a row three of polished andesite. Now this is going to be basically one block above these anvils here for the rails, just like that. And we're going to place down a stone button on either side of these uh, polished andesite blocks of row three, just like that. Now behind that row three here, we're going to play, take our stone brick upside down stairs. So we're going to grab ourselves some stone brick upside down stairs. We're going to place down a row of five that goes across. So the sides here, those are actually going to be on top of those anvils. And then once you guys have that done, we're going to take our stone brick top slabs and we're just going to go ahead and place down a row of uh, seven here of stone brick top slabs that goes across just like that. And then we're going to place down a second row of seven like so. So we get something that looks just like that for the front shape of the, uh, the uh, locomotive. Now uh, once you guys have that done, we're going to go ahead and skip a space of one. So one anvil here, we're going to skip that space and we're going to go ahead and place down a upside down nether brick stair just like this. And this is going to be the first kind of part here of the wheel. After you have that done, we're going to place down a second uh, upside down stair just like that. And then taking black stained clay, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four black stained clay blocks back. And then going ahead and pulling out some nether brick stairs, we're going to place down an upside down nether brick stair like this. Followed by a second one on the back of it. So you get something that looks just like that. Now, once you guys have that done, we're going to go ahead and go to the sides here. And we're going to go ahead and go to the black stained clay, place down a, a yeah, nether brick stair just like this on the sides. And then in between those uh, stairs here, we're going to place down a row two here of these uh, nether brick half slabs. On the side of these stairs and these half slabs, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some signs. And we're just going to go ahead and place down some signs along the side just like that. And then also on the back of the stair here, we're going to take, our, take some end rods and place down two end rods coming off the back of the stairs just like that. And again, we're going to take that same design flip it over to the air side. Now, once you have uh, it flipped over to both sides here, in between these nether brick stairs, these upside down ones, we're just going to take our nether brick and top slabs and just go ahead and fill in the space in between the upside down stairs just like that. So if we look at this from above we should have something looking just like that. And that right there is going to basically do it for the first layer of the uh, locomotive. Once you guys have that all squared away you guys can go ahead and move on to your next layer, layer 2 and uh, for the locomotive. Alright guys so moving on to our next layer we have layer 2. Now for layer 2 what we want to do is we want to go ahead and take our stone brick stairs place down a row 3 on top of these three polished andesite blocks just like that. Behind that row of three of stone brick stairs, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of five here of polished andesite. We're going to go ahead and then place down a second row of five of polished andesite, followed by a stone brick stair to the side, just like this. Now, once you guys have that done from the stone brick stair on the side here, we're going to take our polished andesite, just go back one, two, three, four uh, polished andesite full blocks back, followed by a stone brick stair like so, and then a polished andesite block like that. On these two polished andesite blocks next to the stone brick stair, we're going to place down two levers, just like that. And then going back from this uh, polished andesite block right here, we're just going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 polished andesite blocks back, just like that. So you have a total of 6 polished andesite blocks right here on the side. Once you guys have that done, we're going to take our stone brick stairs, place down 1, 2, 3, oops, my bad. Uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 of these uh, stone brick upside down stairs along the side here. Then we're going to place down a stone brick uh, regular stair, just like that, after you have this uh, row of 6 here. Or my bad, actually a row of seven, my bad, a row of seven here of stone brick upside down stairs. And then you have a regular stone brick stair. Again, taking stone brick upside down stairs, we're gonna place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten stone brick stairs upside down back. And then we're gonna go ahead and again place down a regular stone brick stair. And then taking our stone brick stairs, we're just gonna go and place down one, two, three, and four upside down stone brick stairs, just like that. So you should have something like that on the side here, and you're gonna go and take that copy it over to the other side. Now basically in between all these stairs and everything like that, we're just going to go ahead and fill this whole space in. So taking polished andesite, we just want to go ahead and place this all down here. This is going to create the very base of the, uh, the locomotive here, the very bottom of the floor of it, if you guys uh, rather say. And uh, we'll just go ahead and take this and basically run this all the way along here and kind of fill in the whole bottom of this uh, section. So we can go ahead and run this all the way up to the front, just like that. And uh, basically when you have this layer done, you should have something that looks just like that uh, for this all. And also take note that we haven't done this, uh, these wheels on the back here yet because these are technically part of this car. So we're going to leave those alone for the moment and we'll come back to those a little bit later. But anyways, uh, we have that all uh, squared away and with that we can go ahead and move on to layer 3. Alright guys, so moving on to our next layer, we have layer number uh, 3. Now for layer 3 here, we're going to start off by going to the row of 5 here polished stand site that's directly behind these 3 stone brick stairs here in the front. On the very center uh, polished NSA block from this row of five, we're just going to place down a black stake plate block just like that on top of it, followed by one polished NSA block that goes back just like that. On the sides here, we're going to place down two polished NSA blocks like so, 
followed by a stone brick half slab on top of this polished andesite block right here, and then a polished andesite block right here, so we create a row of four, uh, or sorry, row of five along the along the front here, just like that. Once you guys have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down one polished andesite block here on the sides, and then we're going to place down a stone brick stair coming off of this polished andesite block like so. Taking stone brick, or sorry, polished andesite full blocks, we're going to place down one, two, and three polished andesite blocks along the side here. On top of this lever right here, we're going to place down a um, nice uh, uh, iron bar, just like that. Now, once you guys have that done, we're going to go and take our stone brick uh, full blocks here. I'm actually going to go, and go into my inventory to actually grab them because I have half slabs in my inventory, which can take a little bit longer to actually place. Let's see if I can actually find them. There we are. So, for this, we're just going to take our stone brick full blocks. We're going to place down one and two. And again, we're going to place down an iron bar on top of this lever, just like that. So, we have two of these stone brick uh, full blocks. We're going to place down a third. Oop, my bad, a third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. So you have a total of eight of these uh, stone, brick stone brick full blocks. And then taking polished andesite, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five polished andesite. This is where it would say um, Pioneer Zephyr on the side of it right here. Or uh, I believe it said that, or it might have said Burlington, or one of the two. It said something like that, uh, but that's basically what it is right here. Then we're going to place down one, two, and three stone brick uh, full blocks and we're going to place down iron bars on the ones on your side here you can see it's kind of on your side of this where the stone brick stair would be just like that and then take our stone brick uh, blocks we're going to go ahead and pretty much uh, take these back continuing so we have three right here we have four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen uh, we're going to go ahead and take our iron bars place it down on this stone brick um, block right here so we have 14 stone brick blocks going along the side here then we're going to place down uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and uh, 20 back, just like that. Um, so you have 20 back like so. Now, um, actually one thing real quick is we actually want to go ahead and take these two stone brick stairs. We're going to place those with or those two stone brick full blocks. We're going to place those with two stone brick upside down stairs. And then we're also going to go ahead and replace this one as well with a stone brick upside down stair, just like that. So go ahead and make that small adjustment there. I do apologize. And uh, once you have that done, we're just going to go ahead and take our polished site and connect these uh, stone brick. Uh, full upside down stairs and we're just going to go and connect them across just like this because we'll need to fill in that space on the back here um, like so just to go ahead and fill it in uh, to, to, to basically cover up so you can't see it from the bottom here but of course once you put this these wheels in you really won't be able to see it so it doesn't really matter I mean could you might have to mess around with that a little bit for if you guys are building an interior or whatnot, whatnot. but anyways guys that's pretty much uh, it for layer 3 and with that we can go ahead and move on to layer 4 alright guys so moving on to layer 4 now for layer 4 what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to the front here on this row of 3 here of blocks we're just going to place down 3 of these light gray stained glass panes on top of them just like that then on the sides here we're going to place down a a uh, light gray stained glass full block so you have two full blocks on your side then on the side of this light gray stained glass full block we're going to place down a, a uh, light gray stained glass pane and then we're going to place down a light gray stained glass full block so you can kind of see we're starting to create a little bit of a curved shape going around like this now coming off of this light gray stained glass full block we're going to place down one and two light gray stained glass panes like that now along the side here we're going to place down two polished andesite full blocks followed by a light gray stained glass pane and then we're going to place down a stone brick full block. We're also going to go ahead and take iron bars and place down two more iron bars on top of the ones we've already placed down, just like that on the sides. We're going to grab ourselves some black stained clay, place down two black stained clay blocks just like this, and this is, what the, this is basically the numbers on the side here. And we're going to place down two stone buns like that. So it had the uh, car, or the locomotive number on the side right there in that spot. Now once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and take our stone brick uh, full blocks. We're just going to go ahead and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 blocks back. Uh, 10 blocks back, we're gonna, after 10 blocks, we're going to place down an iron bar, followed by a stone brick uh, full block. And then we just want to go ahead and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So you, have a, you again have a row of 10 like this along the side here. And then taking iron bars, we're going to go ahead and go back 1, and or we're going to place down 2 uh, iron bars just like this. And then again, taking your uh, stone brick full blocks, we're going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 back, just like this. And then taking our polished andesite, we're just going to go ahead and place down 1 and 2 blocks in, uh, just like that from the sides. And this will basically be the door here uh, on the back if you guys are planning on putting in a uh, door in or uh, something like that. Now, uh, once you uh, have uh, that done, we also want to go ahead and go to the sides here. We're going to go to these iron bars, place down one more going up, looks like that on the sides. And also for this one right here, we're going to place down an iron bar uh, going up as well, just like that. And uh, once you guys have that squared away, that's pretty much what you guys uh, 
want to have for layer four. And with that, we can go and move on to our next layer, layer five. All right, guys, so moving on to our next layer, we have layer five. Now for layer five, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and go to this uh, space up here in the front. Now you can see we have these uh, these two light gray stained glass full blocks that are right after this row three of light gray stained glass panes. On top of those blocks, we're going to place down a nether brick full block on either side. And then on the very center, we're going to place down a polished tannocyte full block like so. Now, from diagonal from this uh, dark oak, or sorry, this uh, nether brick stair here, we're going to place down a uh, light gray stained glass pane, just like this. And then we just want to go ahead and place down a light gray stained glass pane that comes off this light gray stained glass full block, followed by one back, just like that along the side here. Then uh, we're just going to go ahead and go to the side, place down two polished anisite blocks, just like that, so your pane connects up and you get something like this. Now, one thing that we also want to do is you want to go ahead and grab ourselves some stone brick slabs here. Uh, in between these polished andesite blocks right here, we're going to place down a row 5 of stone brick top slabs. Then for this section right here, we're going to place down a no row 5 between these glass panes. And then up here in the front, in between these glass full blocks, we're going to place down a row 3 of stone brick top slabs, just like that. Uh, so you get kind of a shape that looks something like that from the side. Now, uh, once you guys have that complete, we're going to go ahead and go to this section here. We're going to place down a light gray uh, stained glass pane on your side on top of this one, followed by a polished andesite block after it like so. We're also going to go and take your stone buttons and place down two stone buttons like that on the side. Now once you have that done, we're going to take our polished andesite and we just want to go ahead and go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So you have a total of 13, including this one up here. So a total of 13 polished andesite blocks all the way back to this point here. Then we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some iron bars. We're going to place down an iron bar in that section right there. And then again, taking our polished andesite, we're going to go ahead and go back 1, 2, and 3. Place down an iron bar polished anisite block, iron bar, polished anisite block, iron bar, and then two polished anisite blocks just like that. After those two polished anisite iron blocks, we're going to place down, to those two polished anisite blocks, we're going to place down two iron bars like this, and then taking our polished anisite, we're going to go back one, two, three, four, five, and six uh, polished anisite blocks back like this, and then we just want to place down one and two across uh, like so. And then uh, once you have that done, we have a few little details that we need to do. So uh, basically for this, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to this section here. We're going to place down two levers on those polished anisite blocks and flick them down this so that they connect up to those iron bars. And then on the back section here, we're going to go and take some stone buttons, place down some stone button, a stone button on this polished anisite block. And uh, we actually want to go ahead and place down one, two, and three uh, buttons that'll go on the side here as well for a little bit of extra detail. And uh, once you guys have that done, you guys have pretty much completed your uh, fifth layer. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer six. All right, guys, so moving on to our next layer, we have uh, layer six. Now for this, we're going to start off by going to the very front up here. And we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick half slab on top of this polished andesite block in between the two nether brick um, stairs. And then from the stone brick half slab, we're going to place down three polished andesite blocks back. Now going to your first polished andesite block right here, we're going to place down a black sinkway block on either side, followed by two polished andesite blocks back like that. Coming off the sides here are these black stained clay blocks. We're going to place down a stone brick stair on either side, followed by two polished andesite blocks back like so. Now, coming off the sides here of these uh, two polished andesite, uh, these two rows of five here of polished andesite, we're going to place down two stone brick stairs like that. Now, once you guys have that complete, we're just going to go and take our stone brick stairs, run it all the way along the side here of the, uh, the car, all the way like this, and it's going to go pretty much all the way back to the very back section of the of the uh, engine. So it's going to go all the way back to this point right back here. And then we're just going to place down a row five of polished andesite in between the stairs, just like that, to go ahead and pretty much connect them up uh, like that. And uh, once you guys have that done, you guys have completed your, uh, or almost have completed, we have one last thing we actually need to do. Uh, on these uh, stone brick stairs here, on your side, we're actually going to go ahead and take some item frames, place them down like that, and place down a glass block in it, just like that, to uh, form uh, two additional little lights that are on the, the front headlights basically that are on uh, the sides there. Once you guys have that done, you guys have completed your uh, your uh, sixth layer. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer seven. All right, guys, so moving on to layer seven. For layer seven, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by going to the, the front section up here. Now, on top of this polished dancehall block that's in between these two black stank bay blocks, we're going to place down a polished dancehall block on top of it like this, followed by a nether brick stair on either side. So just like that, nether brick stair on either side. Now behind those uh, stairs in the full block, we're going to place down a row of three of polished andesite, followed by a stone brick stair like this on the side. Now once you guys have that done, we're going to place down a stone brick stair like this, so we create a corner stair, and then we have a regular stair like this. And we're just going to place down one and two more stairs. So you have a total of three regular stairs, and then the corner stair just like that. Now uh, once you guys have that done, we're going to place down 
one and two stone brick ups and down stairs like that we also want to go ahead and go with the inside here and underneath those stairs we're going to place down two polished inside full blocks uh basically the same thing over here on this side just the two polished inside full blocks just to cover that up from the outside and then after you have that done we're going to take our stone brick stairs and go back one two three four five six seven eight nine stone brick stairs back and then we're going to place down a stone brick corner stair like so now in between these corner stairs and these uh pretty much all these stairs we're going to place down rows of three here of polished andesite going all the way along to kind of fill this whole space in just like that all the way back here to this point then we're going to place down one more row of three of polished andesite that passes these uh stone brick corner stairs followed by a stone brick half slab on your side and then once you guys have that done we're just going to place down rows of five here of stone brick half slabs all the way along the top here all the way back until we get to the um the back portion of the uh locomotive back here right back there right until we get to that point back here so you're just going to go and take stone brick half steps go all the way along the back there until you get to that back section there and uh, once you have that done you guys have completed uh, your seventh layer and with that we'll go ahead and move on to layers eight and nine to finish the uh, locomotive off actually real quickly before we go ahead and move on i just want to go ahead and point out one thing uh up here on this uh polished dance site full block we're going to place down an item frame and then a and then glass uh, steam or just a regular glass block in it like that to make the uh, the main kind of uh, front headlight there uh, so go ahead and make that a uh, small adjustment put that on and once we guys finish that off we can go ahead and move on to layers eight and nine now all right guys so moving on to layers eight and nine for these layers here we're going to go ahead and go to the very top of the locomotive here this section up here we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down one and two stone brick half steps just like that followed by a stone brick stair like so and then a half step on your side of the stone brick stair on top of the stone brick stair here we're going to place down an iron trap door like that and then behind that stone brick stair we're going to place down a stone half slab followed by a stone brick half slab on your side of it once you have that done we're going to take our polished dance site place down one two three four five and six full blocks back from this uh stone half slab and then we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh redstone comparators place down one uh, that direction it doesn't matter which way they're facing um, i believe with that version over there i have it facing this direction it doesn't really matter though so we're gonna have a redstone comparator followed by a stone half slab a redstone another redstone comparator just like that and then we want to place down a skeleton skull just like that now after you guys have that done we're just going to take stone brick half stabs run it all the way along the side there of the detailing and the polished andesite full blocks so just like that and on the back section back here we're going to place down a row three of stone brick half stabs followed by one that just sticks out just like that for the back now on the top here on the middle four polished andesite blocks we're going to take our skeleton skulls we're going to place down one and two facing that direction and then one and two oops my bad one and one and two just like that if i can get them mingled right just like that so we, we did that so that you can't really see the skeleton skulls if you look at it from your side there um so you kind of want to make sure that they're turned into each other to kind of hide that uh but again i think that's pretty much where the uh, exhaust is for the uh locomotive i'm not 100 sure but if i had to take a guess that's where i would guess it would be so anyways guys that's pretty much how you uh go ahead and finish the locomotive of the uh, pioneer zephyr uh just if you guys stick around we'll go ahead and put the cars on and uh be able to uh, pretty much uh, finish this build off so with that let's go ahead and move on to the second car in our line of uh, cars that we're going to be going ahead and doing so uh, yeah let's go ahead and move on to the next part all right so going ahead and moving on to the second car in the train basically uh, for this car here what uh what we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and basically start off by pretty much building the wheels and stuff like that for it. Now you'll see here that this car is a pretty basic uh, design. It doesn't have a whole lot going on with it, but it's the same length as all as the third car right here, as you guys can see. So uh, you have the one right here, and then you have this car. They're pretty much the same as that car, just different windows and stuff. Now this one right here is pretty much the same that same as those, but it's extended a bit to go ahead and put the caboose on. So um, yeah, it's it's uh, pretty pretty simple what you guys can easily extend this train if you guys uh, really want to by just copying and pasting uh that pretty much third car there but anyways our main focus here is going to be going ahead and going to be going ahead and uh taking a look at this car here now as i mentioned uh with this train it has uh the locomotive does actually have some back back uh, wheels up around the track it's actually the second car that has those uh wheels so what we're going to do to start off with is we're going to go ahead and basically go to this point right here in the in the uh, locomotive what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place down a upside down narrow brick stair just like this followed by one directly behind it very similar to what we did up in the front there then we're going to go ahead and place down one two three and four black stain clay blocks back like this and then we're going to place down some narrow brick stairs we're going to place down an upside down one like this and then a second one like so 
Now, after you guys have that done, going on to the sides here, this is going to be a little bit different from the front. We're going to go ahead and go to the nether bricks, upside down stairs, and the black stinkway blocks. We're going to place down a row of six here of stone brick top slabs, just like that on the side. Now, once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and go in between our nether brick stairs here and just take our nether brick top slabs and place down two rows of three, uh, just like that, to basically form the axles of the wheels uh, on that. And once you guys have that done, that's pretty much it for your first layer of the car. And uh, with that, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer two. All right, so moving on to layer two. Now, for layer two, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by going to this section up here. Now, on top of this, uh, this kind of like this section here, we're going to go ahead and take our polished anti full blocks. We're just going to go ahead and place down rows of seven that go all the way across, just like this. So you're going to place down basically three rows of seven, just like that. Now, uh, now that we pretty much have that done, we can actually go ahead and pretty much delete. Uh, these rows right here because we do have a floor that's built on uh, right here So you can actually go ahead and delete those now uh, that we have that all in place Now once you guys uh, have that done, we're gonna go ahead and get to the section right here now This is basically the joint uh, to joint the uh, cars together and all that stuff So what we're gonna do for this is we're gonna place down two stone brick stairs upside down just like that And then we want to place down uh, a row of two here a polished inside behind them and then a or two rows of three here of uh, black stained clay blocks that go across uh, just like that uh, for the back section there. Now once you have that done, we're going to take our polished dance site. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of uh, seven, followed by a second row of seven, and then a third row of seven across, just like that. Then uh, once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and go to the sides here. And we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a stone brick stair upside down, that uh, faces that direction like so. And then we're going to place down one, two, and three stone brick upside down stairs like that. After your third stone brick up stair, we're going to place down your stone brick regular stair, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 upside down stairs like so. And we're going to place down a uh, regular stair just like that. And then going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down a upside down stone brick stair, followed by a second one, 3, 4, 5, and um, after your fifth one, we're going to place down another corner stair just like that. And in between all these upside down stairs and regular stairs and stuff, we're just going to go ahead and place down rows of five of polished andesite. Again, this is going to be the floor of the car of the train. So we're just going to go ahead and pretty much fill this whole space in uh, just like so. All the way back until we get to our last kind of row, row of stone brick stairs on the very back. So just like this. All the way back and we'll just go ahead and fill this all in. And boom, just like that. So if we go ahead and look at this from above, we should have something that kind of looks just like that. And you can see this is where it's starting to join up here and this is where the wheels are and all that stuff. And again, if you just want to build the car alone, you guys would pretty much be building exactly what I'm showing you guys. You guys will pretty much leave that alone. Uh, of course, there's a little bit more detailing involved and stuff like that with the whole joint and all that stuff. But I'm just going to be showing you guys how to build the train actually connected up. And if you guys want to have the car separated or something like that, uh, I'll kind of leave that up to you guys. So uh, anyways, that's it for layer two of the second car. And with that, we can go and move on to layer three. Alright, so moving on to layer 3. Now, uh, for layer 3, we're just going to continue up, pretty much building up the sides here, and uh, just kind of continue on with what we've been doing. So, for this, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our um, black stain clay blocks here, and we're just going to place down two black stain clay blocks on top of those two polished andesite blocks. And on the sides here of them, we're going to place down two stone buns like that. And on the inside here, you can see this is going to be kind of the inside here of the train. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some iron bars, place down two iron bars, uh, just like that. Now, one thing I want to real quickly go ahead and point out, uh, for the door here of this train, if you want to have it closed up, we're going to place down uh, a polished anti full block here, followed by two light gray stained glass full blocks. So if you want to have the door closed up, uh, that's what you guys will do. If you guys want to have it opened up, you'll just uh, have that space opened up like that. But anyways, we'll go ahead and just close that all up uh, like so. Now, once you guys have that done, we're going to go ahead and take our um, blocks here. We're going to go diagonal from this, uh, what we did right here. And we're going to go ahead and place down an upside down stone brick stair, followed by a second one, and then a third one just like that. So very similar to what we did up here in that section like that. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, stone brick full blocks, which I'll go ahead and grab, go into my inventory for, for, because it'll be a little bit easier just to go ahead and use uh, full blocks for this. So we have full blocks right here. We're just going to go ahead and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. So it's going to overhang by uh, three off the back here. And of course, when you get to this back se section here, we're just going to place down a row that goes all the way across. And we can go and delete that block there in the center. But we just want to have a row of uh, three on either side like that. We'll leave the open space there in the center for the uh, door of the car. 
Now, uh, once you have that complete, we have a few little detail things that we need to add on. So, one of those things is up here in the front. Now, we want to go ahead and go to this third stone brick uh, full block here. We're going to place down a stone bun like this. And then we want to go ahead and go to this one right here. Place down an iron bar just like that. Now, going back here, you can see we have the stone brick stair right here. We're going to place down an iron bar, kind of like on either side of the um, stone brick full blocks above it. So, just like that. And that's just going to go ahead and go all the way back here to this section like that. And uh, once you guys have uh, that all squared away, that's it for uh, layer 3 of the car. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer 4. So for layer 4 of the car, we're just going to go ahead and pretty much uh, do this uh, on camera. Because it's, uh, it's it's pretty simple, just doing what we have uh, what we have left to do pretty much for the car. So for this, we're just going to go ahead and place down two black stain clay blocks on your side. Two stone buns on the side of those blocks, just like that. And then taking our uh, stone brick. Uh, full blocks. We're going to go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks back. We're going to place down the stone button on that six block right there. We're going to place down two iron bars like this. And then taking our stone break uh, full blocks, we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight blocks back. And we want to go ahead and actually grab ourselves some um, light gray stained glass panes. We're going to place down a light gray stained glass pane, followed by a stone brick full block, followed by a light gray stained glass pane, just like that. And then we're going to follow that up by placing down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 uh, stone brick full blocks back just like that. Now once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and go to this uh, stone brick full block up here. Place down an iron bar like that. And we're going to go ahead and place down uh, two iron bars uh, as well on the sides here. Uh, just like that around this section there. And then on the back here, we're just going to go ahead and again take our stone brick uh, full blocks and just go ahead and kind of connect them in just like that. And we're going to go ahead and uh, just do the same thing that we did over on the air side, over to this side as well. So, you guys can just go ahead and copy the same thing over. I mean, it's uh, very simple to do. And just like this, place on your bros a stone brick. And then again, two iron bars. And then again, your stone brick full box going all the way up to the front like that. And then we can just go ahead and take our uh, stone buns, place them down. And then our iron bars. And then over here, we're going to need our iron bars as well. Uh, since they weren't copied over when I was uh, doing the air side. So uh, just like that, one thing I also want to go ahead and point out here in the front. Uh, one thing we also want to do is we want to go and actually take our stone brick full blocks. We're going to go and put two in like this and then two in like that um, as well. Just like that for this car here. And uh, one thing that actually should probably be done here is that uh, we should actually replace these polished anti blocks here with stone brick. Just to kind of continue the pattern around the outside of it. Um, don't know why I didn't do that, so I'm just going to make that small adjustment there. But anyways, once you guys have that done, that's pretty much how you guys do uh, layer 4 of the uh, car. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer 5. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to layer 5 for the car. We're going to go ahead and continue on building it up. So for this, we're just going to go ahead and place down an arrow row of 2. Black stained clay on the inner side here for the uh, kind of the joint section here. And again, placing down 2 stone buns on the inner side just like that. Uh, we also want to go ahead and in the center here, uh, I don't know why I didn't actually complete that. It's kind of weird that I didn't do that. We're going to place down another, our two stone brick uh, full blocks just to kind of continue the wall up here of the car. And we can also go ahead and place down one like this and a um, light gray stained glass full block uh, just in case you wanted the door closed. I kind of showed you guys how to have that open up if you guys chose to do so. Now, uh, once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three polished and site blocks here on the near side. And then in the very center, we're going to place down a light gray stained glass block just to have the door closed. Now, once you guys have that done, we're going to take our polished inside blocks, go back 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Same thing over here on this side, 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5 back, just like that. Then we're going to place down 1 and 2 iron bars like so, followed by a stone button. And we just want to go and do the same thing over here, so 2 iron bars, and then a stone button just like that. And then taking our polished inside blocks, we're just going to go ahead and place a row all the way along the top here, these stone brick full blocks. Same thing over here on this side, all the way along the side there, just like that. And uh, we want to go ahead and also, on this uh, polished anti-side block here, we're going to place down a stone button, like that on your side. And then, uh, once you guys get back to this section here, we're going to place down a light gray stained glass pane on your side, polished anti-side block on your side, and then a light gray stained glass pane on your side, and then a polished anti-side full block on your side. Now, on top of these uh, iron bars, we're going to go ahead and place down levers. And we're going to have them flicked uh, down like that so they connect up to the arm bars. And same thing over here on this side. Let me actually go ahead and fix that arm bar. It's put in the wrong spot. And uh, just like that on your side. And after you get that done, we're just going to take our polished anti-side blocks. Run this all the way to the back. 
and along this side as well. And then we're just going to go ahead and uh, take this, go across just like that, and leave a space open in the middle. And of course, if you guys want to have this door closed off in the back here, we're going to place down a stone brick <laughs> full block right there, and then two polished stands, first two uh, light gray stained glass panes up like that. And uh, anyways, once you guys have that done, that's it for your uh, that's it for your fifth layer. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to layer six of the car. All right, guys. So moving on to layer six. Uh, layer six is going to be uh, fairly simple. Uh, for this, what we want to do is we want to go and take our narrow brick half slabs, place down two on top of these um, black stained clay full blocks, and then we're just going to place down uh, two rows of three here of black stained clay blocks going across just like that. Now, once you have that done, we're going to go and take our polished anthracite blocks here. <clears throat> we're going to place down two like this, or actually a row of five rather, along the uh, middle section here, and we're just, we're just going to go and place down a stone brick stair on either side. Now, after you guys go and do that, we're just going to take our stone brick stairs and we're just going to run it all the way along the sides here. Just like this. So it's going to run all the way back to the back of the car. So just like this. All the way back until you get to this point right here. And same thing pretty much over here. We're just going to take your stone brick stairs. And just run along the side here. Just like this. All the way up to the front and back of the car. Just like that. And on the very back section here, we're just going to go ahead and again. Take our polished anisite. Make a row of five all the way across. Just like that. And uh, once you guys have that done, that's it for uh, this layer. And with this or with that we can go ahead and move on to the next layer of the car all right guys so move on to the last final layer of this uh, car here uh basically all we're gonna be doing is just going ahead and doing the uh, roof on on it so for this we're just gonna take our snow brick half so that was placed down a row five on top of this row of five of polished anisite we're also going to go and take stone buns and place down uh basically three stone buns on top of these rows of threes just like that so we kind of do that and add a little bit more detail to that section there now you're gonna have this row of five of uh stone brick uh, half slabs, we're going to place down a second one. We're going to have three like this, and then we're going to go ahead and have a fourth one as well. So, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and uh, ten. So, ten rows of those uh, stone brick half slabs, so big, pretty much a five by ten uh, rectangle up here. Then, we're going to place down a polished anisite full block on your side followed by a row three of stone brick half slabs in between them. And then again, we're going to go ahead and go back to our rows of five of stone brick half slabs. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and we're going to have twelve. So 12 rows of these, uh, 12 rows of these, uh, stone brick half slabs. And then, uh, once you get to that point here, we're going to place that polished anisite block on your side, followed by a row of three of stone brick half slabs in between it. And then on the back here, we're going to go back to our rows of five here of polished anisite, or stone brick half slabs, and we're just going to place down, uh, two rows of five, or sorry, my bad, three rows of five, uh, going back just like that. And, uh, once you guys have that done, that's pretty much what you guys want to have for this, uh, rail car right here. You can see it connects up to the, um, engine very nicely and everything like that. Now, one thing I want to go ahead and real quickly point out for you guys. Now, if you guys want to go ahead and, uh, you know, put this car on right here, which I imagine you guys want to, this is the main passenger car here. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take the same exact design, basically what we did for this, and you're going to go ahead and just copy it over right here. Um, just like we did up in the front here, you can see we have the three polished anisite blocks. Uh, these three polished anisite blocks are going to go right here. Um, so you can see it's going to line up exactly how we pretty much had this one lined up with the actual engine itself. Now what you guys want to do is you're going to take this design, but you're going to go ahead and leave out these stone brick stairs here. You're going to go ahead and just make this a solid wall and everything like that. So it'll be a lot easier for us just to go ahead and kind of put the windows in and everything like that. So real quickly, I'm going to go ahead and copy this over and I'm going to show you guys exactly what you guys should have for you. The, so you guys have for reference, but you're just going to basically build up the same car here and you guys can go ahead and rewind uh, the, tutor the tutorial if you guys need to uh, just to go and fill it in or just reference this one uh, and basically build a second car here uh, with that design. Alright guys, so if you went ahead and pretty much did uh, exactly what I said for you guys to do, you guys should end up with something just like this. So you, you guys can see here we don't have any of the little steps right here, none of the windows, anything like that. We just have a pretty much a plain uh, car here which we'll just go ahead and use to punch out all of our windows and everything like that that we need to punch out now uh, one thing I also want to go ahead and point out is that uh, on the top here uh, you should have something that looks like this we actually want to move these polished anisite blocks back just one so you're gonna go ahead and move those back just one like this 
and then you're going to go and replace the row that they were in just with a row of five of stone brick half slabs. So you're going to move those back just one, but other than that, that's pretty much uh, the only change we're going to be making here. Now, uh, once you guys have that done, we're going to go ahead and uh, take our windows and we're going to go ahead and start punching stuff out here. Now, we're going to do it over here on this side just so I can kind of reference this, this side here. And of course, whatever we do to this side here, the right side of the car, you're going to go and flip over and do the air side. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and count one, two, three, and then on your fourth year, your fourth policy, we're going to punch it out, place down a light gray stained glass full block. And we're going to go ahead and punch it out another one so we have a kind of like a one by two window right here. After you guys go and do that, we're going to go ahead and count two. Uh, and then you're going to go to your third one right here. We're going to place down another one by two window. So you get something that looks just like down the side here. And taking our iron bars, and we're also going to grab ourselves some levers here. We're going to place down uh, two iron bars, just like that, and those two uh, stone brick full blocks. And then on these polished down side blocks, we're going to have levers flicked down. Uh, just like that for the sides. Now, uh, we want to go ahead and go to this polished and side block. We're going to go ahead and count back one, two, three, and I believe this is on your fourth one. Your fourth block back, we're going to go ahead and punch out a uh, two by two square right here, and we're going to put in our first window of light gray stained glass. So, just like that, that's going to be your first window, like that. As you can see, um, that's what we want so far on the side here. Then we're going to skip a space of one and go ahead and punch out in there uh, one by or two by two window, just like that. Punch out another two by two window, leaving a space of one in between them, just like that. And we want to have a total of five of these, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, punch out the other window, just like that. So you get that there, and then we want one more window. So again, with that space of one there, we have our window on the back, just like that. And so basically, once you have that all in, all that with that all finished, you should end with pretty much four polished andesite blocks, pretty much back from the rear here, and. Uh, everything like that and that's pretty much what you want to have there for it it's a pretty simple design and of course whatever you guys do this uh, right side here you're going to go ahead and just flip over to the other side uh, one thing also we want to go ahead and go to this stone brick stair here upside down we're going to replace that for a regular stair uh, for the step into the, uh, the car right there but uh, once you have that complete that's pretty much how to do this car here of course you're just going to take that design paste it over to this side and what you guys do, you'll have this car finished off. Now this right here is your main passenger car. So if you guys want to have multiple uh, additional cars added on, uh, you're pretty much going to be copying this car and pasting it kind of continuously as many as you guys want before you guys get to your caboose here. Um, so uh, make sure you guys go ahead and add as many of these cars, or as many as many of these cars as you guys want before going ahead and move on to the next part, which will go ahead and I'll show you guys how to do the caboose. Now for the caboose here, you're going to go ahead and copy this uh, same kind of template here. So you have the same kind of plain car. You're just going to go ahead and copy that over, and I'm going to show you guys how to modify it to uh, fit the caboose. But uh, anyways, just go ahead and take this same shape right here, copy it over, and uh, make sure you guys also put as many cars of this right here that you guys want in before you guys do so. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to the caboose. All right, guys, so it's time to go ahead and move on to the caboose. Now, uh, one thing I want to go ahead and point out with the caboose here is that uh, we took the main car, car design here and uh, pretty much copied it over. Now, what makes the caboose a little bit different is that it actually has the two wheels. So it has the wheels up here, like this, the rail wheels, and then it has wheels also back here uh, for the back portion. So it's kind of the only actual car on here that actually will have two uh, wheels and I can actually, um, you know, not fall to the ground <laughs> when it's uh, left alone. Uh, so kind of interesting right there. Now, uh, you can see here I went ahead and took this base, same design we've been using. I went ahead and broke this whole uh, back wall out just like that and left the sidings here uh, just so that we can actually have the interior here because the interior will actually be going back quite a few uh, from this position here. Uh, but anyways, once you guys have that all squared away, we're going to go ahead and build. So you can see we have the same kind of section here, uh, these three blocks right here and everything like that. And we still need to go ahead and uh, do this uh, thing up here in the front. Now one thing that's a bit different here is these are actually full blocks right here, they're not upside down stairs. So make sure that they're actual full blocks here, um, since they're going along the siding we actually want them to be full blocks. So once you have that done we can go ahead and start to put our uh, wheels in for the uh, the caboose here. So uh, for this we're just going to go ahead and uh, basically do the wheels exactly how we've pretty much been doing them. They're just going to go ahead and be going down in this section right here. And you're going to place down an upside down narrow brick stair like this, followed by a second one like that. We will need to grab ourselves some black stink bay blocks, so we'll just go and break that just like that to grab some real quickly. And we're just going to place down four black stink bay blocks. Place down uh, two a narrow break up downstairs back to back just like that for your wheels. And again, we're just going to go and do the same thing over here on this side. Just like this is basically going to set up our two wheels like so. Or more like four wheels actually, I to say. And like that to the side as well. Now, uh, in between them, of course, you're going to take your nether brick uh, top slabs. Go ahead and place down two rows of three in between the upside down nether brick stairs. 
So you get something that looks just like that. And then taking your stone brick stairs, just like we did for the previous cars, so you're going to go and take your uh, top saps and place down a row 6, just like that on your side. Now, uh, for this whole uh, space in here, we're going to go ahead and again take your polished dance site. We're going to place down a row, a row 7, followed by a second row 7, and then a third row 7, just like that. When you get to this section here, we're going to place down two upside down stone brick stairs on either side, just like this. And then we can go and take our polished downside blocks and go ahead and kind of fill in the space in between the two upside down stone brick stairs. After you guys have that done, we're going to place down a row of seven of polished downside, followed by a second row of seven, and then a third row of seven, just like that. Now in the back section here, we're going to go ahead and go to our kind of an indent here from the sides, place down a stone brick upside down stair on your side with a row of three of polished downside blocks in between the stairs. Then we're going to place down a stone brick top sub coming off the stone brick stairs followed by a row 3 of polished downside in between the half sabs and on the very back here we're going to place down a stone brick top sab on your side followed by an upside down stone brick stair there in the middle of that row 3 just like that for the rear. Now uh, going to the sides here we're going to go ahead and go from this stone brick uh, or this yeah, the stone brick full block we're going to place down one more followed by a second one third and fourth just like that. After you guys have that done we're going to go to a diagonal place down a stone brick full block second one and then a third one just like that. Go to a diagonal again, place down a row of three of Paul, or stone brick uh, full blocks, and then again, you're just going to go do basically the same thing over here on this side, just like this to kind of form up the, little, the back section, which looks something kind of like that. Now, uh, once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick full block like this, and we're going to go ahead and start to get into our glass here. So for this, we're going to place down two light gray stained glass panes, and then we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, stone brick full block, just like that, so you have two light gray stained glass panes, just like that. Now once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and go uh, have another diagonal here. We're going to place down a uh, light gray stained glass full block, followed by a light gray stained glass pane. And then we're going to go ahead and follow it up by placing down a stone brick full block just like that. Now on the very back here, across this right here, we're going to place down a row 3 of stone or light gray stained glass full blocks just like that. We also want to place down two stone buttons on those uh, two stone brick full blocks just like that on your side. And then basically what we did over on that side, we're just going to copy over to here. So we have our stone brick full block light gray stained glass pane and then a light gray stained glass uh, block like this diagonal we have a stone brick full block and then we have our uh, light gray stained glass panes and then a stone brick block like that now going ahead and continuing up we're going to go ahead and take our polished dance site place down polished dance site block on your side and uh, after you have that polished dance site block we're going to go ahead and take our light gray stained glass place down two light gray stained glass blocks just like that on the sides place down a polished dance site block on top of those two stone brick full blocks, just like that on your side. Then we're going to place down another light gray stained glass block on your side. Light gray stained glass pane. Then a stone brick full, or sorry my bad, a polished andesite full block. Like that on your side. And on the back here again, another row of three of polished andesite, or I said polished andesite, light gray stained glass uh, full blocks, just like that. Now getting up here to this top section, what we want to do for this is we're going to place down a stone brick stair like that. Then we're going to place down a stone brick corner corner stair like so followed by a polished downside full block followed by a stone brick stair like that now on the side of this polished downside block we're going to place down a stone button like so now once you guys go and do that we're going to go ahead and have an indent kind of an angle here place down a stone brick stair like so and then a second one like that so we create a corner stair like that and then on top of this polished downside block here we're going to place down a stone brick half slab and then we're going to go ahead and follow it up but by the, from the half side we're going to place down a row three of polished downside across to the other side and we can just go ahead and copy and copy what we did over on the other side over to here. So you have a stone brick half slab, stone brick stair, corner stair, stone brick stair, polished dance side block, stone brick stair, and a stair like this. So we create a corner stair like that, and a stone button like like so. Now on the back here, uh, what we're going to do for this is you're just going to place down a stone brick stair in the center there, followed by a stone brick half slab on either side, just like that. And uh, once you guys have uh, that all done for the roof here, we're just going to go ahead and take our stone brick. Uh, half steps, place down a row of five, second row of five, a third row, and then a fourth row all the way to this point right here. When you get to this point right here, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three, just like this. Then we're going to place down a stone brick half step on your side, followed by a stone brick stair in the center. And then coming off the back here, we're just going to place down one and two polished and side full blocks. Now one thing we're also going to need is we're going to need to go ahead and grab ourselves uh, a item frame and also a light gray, or sorry, red stained glass block. Uh, to form the backpack for the form the back brake light. So we're gonna place down an item frame red stained glass block in it just like that 
And uh, once you get that done, that's pretty much how to make the main kind of body of the caboose. Now we have the we have to put the windows in still. Uh, we still have a few little things that we still have to go ahead and do here. But uh, other than that, we're pretty much getting close to actually wrapping this uh, tutorial up. So to go ahead and put the additional windows in and all that stuff for the caboose here, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and skip uh, basically two polished anisite blocks from this uh, lump, this uh, two by two uh, window here, and then we're just going to delete these blocks right here, put down there two by two window, just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and skip a space of three. So we have one, two, three. And then we're going to place down a one by two window, just like that. We're going to skip a space of two, place down in there one by two window, just like this. And we're going to place down our levers, like this on either side, flick it down. Our uh, iron bars going down along the side here. You guys kind of get the drill here. And we're also going to go ahead and place down our uh, stone brick stair, just like that, to form the little step there. After you guys have that done, we're going to skip a space of two. So we have this right here, this one right here. We're gonna place down there a uh, two by two window in just like this and we're gonna have a total of five of these so we have one two and three again there's gonna be a space of one in between all the windows just like we did with the previous car four and five just like that and of course once you guys get all that in place and everything like that you're just gonna take that design Copy it over to the air side, and you guys will pretty much be done with the caboose. And uh, once you guys have that done, I imagine you guys are pretty much done with your train. You just go ahead and copy that design over to the air side. I won't show it because I just showed you guys how to do it, so uh, not much point in me actually going ahead and uh, doing it any anyway. But anyways, once you guys have that all uh, in place here, you're pretty much good to go. Um, we also need to go ahead and put these uh, these uh, polished anisite blocks in. Uh, for some reason, they weren't there, so I uh, gotta put those in as well. But uh, anyways, uh, once you have that all finished, uh, that's pretty much it for the Pioneer Zephyr. Uh, pretty cool looking train. Hope you guys do enjoy it and are able to put it to good use. If you guys do use this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be anything from a sign of the build to link to my channel or this video if it doesn't appear on any social media sites. Just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it helps me continue to produce these tutorials. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much it for this one. Be sure to suggest what trains you guys want to see next time in my tutorial series. And I'll be sure to try to get to it as soon as I can. Other than that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.